Hello everyone. We are into the discussion on the subject engineering graphics. Under engineering graphics, we are discussing a topic called projection of planes. Under projection of planes, we are going to solve a problem on projection of plane inclined to the HP and perpendicular to the VP. This is the fifth solved problem we are discussing under plane inclined to the HP and perpendicular to the VP. Now we'll enter into the problem. The given problem is a regular hexagon of 30 mm side has one side on the ground. Its plane is inclined at 45 degrees to the HP and perpendicular to the VP. Draw its projections. Now we'll extract the data from the given problem. Here the name of the plane is regular hexagon and its side length is 30 mm. One of the side of the hexagon is on the ground. Here the hexagonal plane is making an angle 45 degrees to the HP. Inclination of the plane with HP is denoted by theta. That is the plane's inclination with HP that is theta is equal to 45 degrees. Here the plane is inclined to the HP and perpendicular to the VP. If the plane is inclined to the HP and perpendicular to the VP, then this problem can be solved into two stages. That is, in the given problem, surface inclination with HP is given. Then this problem can be solved into two stages. Stage one, initial position assumption. Stage two, surface inclination of the plane with HP. While drawing the stage one, that is initial position assumption, we'll consider the following hint. That is, if in the problem surface is inclined to the HP, then assume surface is parallel to the HP so that the true shape is visible in the top view. Here, the true shape is regular hexagon. In addition to this, here the hexagonal plane is resting on one side on the ground while its plane is inclined at 45 degrees to the HP. That means the side which is on the ground need to keep perpendicular to the XY line in the top view. With this basic inputs, we'll start the projection of the hexagonal plane inclined to the HP and perpendicular to the VP. The first step under the projection of the hexagonal plane when it is inclined to the HP and perpendicular to the VP is drawing reference line. Here we are using first angle projection. So the front view comes above the XY line, top view comes below the XY line. The front view is projected onto the vertical plane, top view is projected onto the horizontal plane. In the initial position, we are assuming the hexagonal plane is resting on HP with one of its side is perpendicular to the VP. The true shape of the plane is visible in the top view. So we will draw top view that is regular hexagon in the top view on horizontal plane with one of its side is kept perpendicular to the xy line. Draw line which is perpendicular to the xy line. Along this line we will align one of the side of a hexagon. The side length of the hexagon is 30 mm. Take 30 mm as a side length, construct the hexagon. The length of the side of a hexagon is 30 mm. Then by using angular method, we will construct the hexagon. Here the angle between two adjacent sides is 120 degrees.
नेम द हेक्सेगन एज से ए बी सी डी ई एफ द हेक्सिनल प्लेन इज रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी विथ वन ऑफ इट साइड इज परपेंडिकुलर टू दि वर्टिकल प्लेन सो दि टाप व्यू ऑफ ए हेक्सिनल प्लेन इज ए रेग्युलर हेक्सेगन ऑफ साइड लेंथ थर्टी एम एम then we will draw the front view of the hexagonal plane the front view of the hexagonal plane falls on the vertical plane for drawing the front view of the hexagonal plane we will draw the projectors passing through the corners of the hexagonal plane say a b c d e and f towards the vertical plane here the top view is with h pencil whereas the projectors are with 2h pencil with a darkness of 25% this is the direction of front view for the observer the corners say b c and d are visible whereas the corners say a f and e are invisible here the corners say b c and d are visible whereas e f and a are invisible for the observer b c side as well as c d sides are visible so join the points say b dash and c dash c dash and d dash with continuous dark lines the image of the side say d is a point and ab also is a point whereas ef is hidden by cd bc is going to hides the af side here the line b dash d dash indicates the front view of the hexagonal plane when it is resting on hp and perpendicular to vp with this we completed first stage then we'll move to the second stage in the second stage we'll consider the inclination of the hexagonal plane with the horizontal plane the hexagonal plane is resting on its side ab on hp while its surface is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp so that the image of the side ab falls on the xy line in front view because the plane is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp then its front view say b dash d dash also makes inclination of 45 degrees to the xy line passing through a dash b dash draw 45 degrees inclination line to the xy line after that take b dash d dash as a radius with compass b dash as a center draw an arc and name this point as d dash similarly take b dash c dash as a radius b dash as a center draw an arc on this 45 degrees inclination line and name this point as c dash this is the image of the hexagonal plane in front view when it is resting on one of its side say ab on hp and its surface is making an angle 45 degrees to the hp then we will draw its related top view for that draw projectors passing through a dash b dash c dash f dash d dash and e dash vertically downward direction after that 
Draw projector passing through all the corners of a hexagon that is initial position top view of a hexagon horizontally rightward direction. Locate the intersection points. Here this is the projector coming from A dash and from A this is the projector going horizontally rightward direction. This is the intersection point and name this point as a1. Similarly, from B dash, this is the projector coming vertically downward. From B, this is the projector going horizontally rightward. Then this point becomes B1. Similarly, locate remaining points. Then, Join these points with straight line segments based on the sequence of joining the points in the original top view. This is the top view of a hexagonal plane when it is resting on one of its sides say AB on HP and the plane is inclined with an angle of 45 degrees to the HP and perpendicular to the VP because the hexagonal plane is inclined to the HP. That's why on horizontal plane we got reduced image of the hexagon and the plane is perpendicular to the VP. That's why on vertical plane we got image of the plane as straight line. This is first stage. In the first stage, plane is parallel to the HP, perpendicular to the VP. In the second stage, plane is inclined to the HP with an angle of 45 degrees and perpendicular to the VP.